hi everyone in this tutorial we will continue our development and uh, now let's remove this uh, print option okay and here uh, after checking that if user has selected any option we need to loop through each file okay and for this purpose i will use here a for loop so right here for fiad file in fiad's files okay now here one thing that you need to keep in mind that we do not need to extract information from each and every file which user has uploaded and the reason is that because we are explicitly asking user to for selection of files as you can see here we are asking user so first of all we will check the names of the files which user has selected so first of all we will uh, match that if the file name is same as the one which user has selected using this widget then we need to extract information from that file so for this purpose here i will write an if statement so just write here if my fiad file dot name in uh, selected files okay so if my this file name exists in the selected files then i need to extract information from that file otherwise I will skip it okay so here uh, in order to extract information from excel file or csv file or from any kind of spreadsheet pandas is a best option okay so there are other libraries as well but uh, pandas is easy to use and it's a very powerful library so we just need to import pandas but if you don't have pandas just open new terminal and uh, just write here pip I N S T A double install P A N D A S pandas okay and hit enter and uh, this will install your pandas okay so after installation of pandas you just need to import pandas so just write here I M P O R T import P A N D S pandas S P D okay which is a convention and here after importing pandas I just need to write P D dot uh, R E A D read Excel file. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a bunch of options, but in this case, we will read Excel file. Okay, so just select this read Excel file, and here you just need to pass the path of your Excel file or the file name. And in this case, my file name or path of file is this FILE file. Okay, so just pass here your file okay so just write here file file okay and uh, i will save my result inside this uh, shop shop underscore d at data variable okay and now for now just print this uh, data okay so uh, print shop shop underscore data okay and uh, let's save it and now here let me run this thing so s t r e a m but instead of writing everything like this just select this one streamlit run data visualizer dot py hit enter and let's wait it's opening okay so you, you we, just, we just need to select files okay browse files select them open them and uh, let's select uh, like shop one option then shop two and then shop three okay and now let's select this uh, cpu okay and now let's see the output on the terminal and yeah this is my output okay so as you can see this is my file one information because user has selected three files that's why we are able to see three different files data okay and now let's suppose that uh, if user selects uh, like uh, let's uh, click on none and uh, let's uh, suppose that if user selects only these two files and now if i click on this uh, keyboard or something like that open the terminal and now you will see only two files okay and yeah these are my two files okay so this is how uh, this system will work okay now here uh, you need to make some correction inside this data and that is if you focus on the left side here we are getting this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay while our id has a separate column inside our excel sheet so how to solve this problem so the pandas is automatically assigning indexes to each row so in order to avoid this problem we need to define our index column and that is our first column which is present at index zero okay so here after reading this file we need to pass an extra argument and that is indx index call is equals to and you need to define here your index of your column and in this case my index is zero okay now let's save it and now if i again re reload this application you will see a better output so browse files select these four files okay and now i will select only one file so just select this 
shop one data okay and now let's select this gpu and open the terminal and yeah as you can see now we are not getting any kind of automatically generated indexes okay so Pandas is treating this id which is column one as index column okay so this is how you can actually read data from the excel file using pandas and now let's suppose that uh, i do not want to print this whole table i just want to print only that column data which user will define here using this radio button so in here i just need to put these square brackets okay and i need to define here the column level or the column heading and in this case uh, my column heading will be this option okay so just right here or ption option okay so if user selects gpu column then we will see only gpu data here if user selects cpu column we will see only cpu data and so on and so forth so let's save this and now let's uh, reload this application again let's browse files select these four files now let's select uh, shop one data and then shop two data and now i just want to print this casing information okay and let's open terminal and yeah as you can see here now we are getting only this one column okay and as this is the name of this column as you can see casing so this is the shop 2 data and this is the shop 1 data okay so if i open this terminal little bit more okay and this is the information now i think it is visible to you so this is how you can actually extract this data but here our objective is to visualize this data so we need to convert this data to lists okay so the process is very simple just write here l i s t sorry l i s t okay and then put this whole information inside this list okay and now you will see here the output as a list okay so let's reload this data reload application browse files select these four files and now let's select this shop one okay and cpu and let's open the terminal and yeah as you can see here now we are getting only list of cpu okay so this is how you can actually extract data and now we need to actually visualize this data against that time okay so if i open my excel sheet as you can see here first of all we have id then we have that so i will print these dates on my x-axis and then i will print my items on my y-axis and this is how you will get a graph but here one thing that is very very important to discuss is that whenever i click on this id column as you can see here my format is general okay and if i click on this gpu my general is format but if i select any of the cell from this dead column here my format is dead okay and which is very different from all of these data okay so even if you print your dead column using this type of operation you will see here a very very weird output okay so uh, for example if i write here like uh, uh, d a t e d a t d dead here you will see a very weird output so let's save it and uh, let's uh, reload this thing okay and let's browse file select these four files uh, select this one maybe any of the option and now let's see open the terminal and yeah as you can see here now we are getting a very weird output okay so we are getting that time objects okay so uh, this is the date and then this is the time okay so instead of uh, actually accessing dates like this i will extract the values from this date column okay so instead of converting it to a list i will say just remove this list and here i will say dot v a l u s values okay now this values will basically allow me to extract the values of this column okay so now let's save it and this will print me the data and the time okay so let's uh, reload this application again okay uh, let's browse file select these four files uh, select this one okay cpu and let's open the terminal and yeah as you can see it is returning us a list okay and inside this list we are getting the date okay so till this point it is the date and then this is the time okay so we are not concerned with the time and we just need to skip the time and we need to extract only this part so for this purpose i think that uh, we we will use a split function okay and we will split each information based on this t okay so as you can see here t 
then here t t so i then after splitting i will get a further list okay and inside each list i will have two values one will be the date and other one will be the time so i will extract only the first value which is the date okay and i think for this purpose i will create a separate function okay so just to create here a separate function like uh, some somewhere here okay or maybe above everything okay so just write here def and i will say dat dat underscore c o n v e r t or dat converter and here i will accept this dat column so i will say dat dat underscore c o l call okay so first of all uh, i will uh, convert this dat column to its values okay so i will save all of the values inside this values values variable and i will say dat dat underscore c o l call dot be a lus values okay and here remove this line okay and uh, i will uh, set dats dats is equals to dat dat converter okay and then i need to pass here my dat column okay so just write here shop shop data okay and then i need to pass dat dat column okay and this is how you will pass data and this function will return us that values okay so i will say that retur and return result -E result okay and we will calculate this result so it will basically return us a list of that so let's create here an empty list okay so i will say result -E result is equals to list list okay this will be an empty list and now after extracting information uh, i will say v a l u s values dot i will loop through each value okay so just right here for v a l u value in v a l u s values okay for value and values and then i will say v a l u value dot s p l i t split okay and i will split this value based on this uh, t okay capital t so just put these double quotes and write here capital t okay and then uh, i will access the first element of this list which is the dat okay so just write here a uh, dot or not dot just put these uh, square brackets and write here zero and just remove this dot okay and this will access the first element and i will say that uh, R E S U L T result dot A double P E N D append okay and I will append my result inside this result list and finally I will return this result bust but here again this is a dead time object okay so we need to convert uh, this whole part into string before we apply this split operation so here you just need to write str string okay and then you need to put this value inside the string okay and now let's save it and here uh, i will print these dates okay so just write here p r i n t print d a t s dates okay and now i think we will get a better output so let's save it and let's reload this application again mm, browse files okay just select these four files uh, select shop one or maybe shop two data okay and then select this gpu and now let's see the output on the terminal and yeah now we are getting a very very cool output we are only extracting dates okay and now i will print these dates on my x-axis using matplotlib graph and my other stuff on y-axis but we will do this process in the next tutorial till that point bye bye